that song just always touches me in such a deep way. I just need to take a breath for a second. <laughs> hmm. How grateful I am to be here today with all of you and for all of you that are out there watching. I'm just really grateful for this opportunity and for this time together knowing that we are all here by divine appointment and that we listened. We, we got that, that nudge, that whisper this morning and we said yes and we, we are here. We are here and um, I'm very grateful for that. And happy summer. So the solstice came in this week with all that bright light and energy. Did everybody feel that? That was like boom. Um, and it just, you know, it really reminds us that we are light. That's exactly what we are. And in the summertime, we tend to remember that a little bit more, I think. And so the summer is a time of warmth and abundance and it's also it's also the time of the heart when we move a little bit later into the sign of Leo and so a lot to look forward to okay so intuition we are at a time are we not we are at a time when we are seeking peace we are seeking love we are seeking assurance we are seeking joy, we are seeking connection. And the connection is our connection with spirit, with God, with the universe. And our intuition is a gift of the sacred. It's, it's that gift that spirit has given us that is in all of us Spirit lives in all of us. God is in all of us. The creator is in all of us. And now more than ever, are we listening? Are we listening? Are we taking time to move into that inner space? Or are we doing that? You know, the gift of intuition is one that we were born with, all of us, every single person in this room, every single person in the universe was born with the gift of intuition. It's, it's innate within us. You know, when I was a little girl, I sensed things, and I really didn't understand what that was or how I knew things. And it wasn't until, I think, when I started to get maybe into my teens or late teens or early 20s when I started hearing about what that was. And, you know, we all, we all have five senses, right? And we're grateful for those. And your intuition is like your sixth sense, you know? And so um, now more than ever, it's really important for us to cultivate that which is already there, if that makes sense. You know, um, before, when I was, before I was getting ready to give this talk, of course I called the Unity Prayer Team <laughs> because that's what we do. And um, this wonderful woman was praying with me and right in the middle of her prayer, she paused and this is what she said. She said, your inner GPS is ignited right now. And it literally, it literally took my breath away for a second. And, and then she got really, really quiet. And then she said, God's guidance, God's peace, God's success is with you. And that's what your intuition is. It's God's guidance. It's God's peace. It's God's way of leading you where you are meant to be, okay? And it's about following your heart. It's about taking time to go into the inner space. It's about meditation. It's about prayer. It's about spending time in nature. These are all things that we already know, 
that we always say, are we doing it though? Are we taking the time? You know, yesterday I was going to meet a friend, and I, I was really looking forward to that, and then my inner voice said, sit, stay home, meditate, and I did. And a couple of hours into that, this peace washed over me that I really needed. I really needed so that I would be in the place that I really wanted to be. You know, because it was a very busy week and with clients and then getting ready for this. And so when we listen, it may not always be what you want to do. It will be what's best for you. Um, and it really is up to us to participate. You know, one of my one of my good friends is a speaker at the ARE, and um, he said we were talking about intuition and everything, and he said, you know, listening is a choice. It's not an arranged marriage. It's not something that. Uh, was prearranged. It's something that we get to choose again and again and again and again. So it requires dedication. It requires meditation. It requires trust. It requires a willingness to let go and allow something greater than yourself to be your guide. You know, um, and it's all about that. I don't know when it was, maybe sometime during, during the year, I kept getting this message, Carol Ann, take your hands off the steering wheel of control. And I was like, take my hands off. Take my hands off the steering wheel of control and let me lead you. You know, this has been a year of tremendous change. I don't know what kind of changes all of you have been going through, but there's been a lot of change in my life and in my world, and, and, um, and I kept on hearing that, and, and whenever I hear that, I realize that I'm, I'm holding on too tightly, and it's time to flow. It's time to relax and let myself be led, you know? In, um, in Tasha Silver's book, Outrageous Openness, which I did get at the bookstore, um, she says, Everything is easier with God. Everything. Everything is easier with spirit. Everything is easier when you are tapped in, tuned in, and turned on. Everything. Everything is easier. And she says um, this prayer. Today, the divine will show me the way. I am open to all messages, signs, and omens. I will move as if there is a force of love waiting to aid me in every area of my life, big and small. Take that in. Take a breath. Today, the divine will show me the way. I am open to all messages, signs, and omens. I will move as if there's a force of love waiting to aid me in every area of my life. This prayer opens us up to be guided. And what are we so afraid of anyway? Why are we so afraid to be guided? Why are we so afraid to turn it all over? That's a really good question, isn't it? It's a really good question. So intuition is a whisper. It's a nudge. It's a, it's a word. It's some people get a chill. It's a, it's a knowing. And uh, I have this one client, and he calls his intuition a ping. He comes in, and he's like, I got a ping this morning. This is what spirit said to me. And I think that's a really good way to look at it, because really, you're kind of stepping aside and allowing your higher self to take over. And it does. It feels like a ping. And so <laughs> he always says, and on a good day, it's ping, 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 ping. And I love that. I love that. I think that's a great, 
a great way to look at it. So be still and know that you will hear the Lord. Be still and know that that voice, that hand is closer than your breath. You know, it is, it is spirit within us. It is God within us that's beating our heart right now. that's breathing you, that's breathing me. And there's a comfort in knowing that. You know, a couple of, a couple of weeks ago, I was driving in, in the car, and I heard this voice say, call your sister. And luckily, the light was red, and I was sitting at the light. And I called my sister, and uh, she says, how did you know? We're sitting in the emergency room. And I said, God. And that's how it works, okay? So, so for me, for someone like me, um, I, had a, I had a pretty intense spiritual awakening uh, over 30 years ago, and it, it, it rocked me in a lot of different ways and it, it, because I didn't really know what was going on. I was having a lot of anxiety for a long time, and I wasn't able to do a lot of things. And... Um, so I really took a deep dive into my spiritual practice, my spiritual life and meditation and learning what intuition is and what it means when spirit is guiding you and how that can affect you. Because it can get pretty intense. I mean, everyone I think in here has probably has it, had a dark night of the soul. Well, mine lasted for about five years. Um, yeah, I had very, very um, intense anxiety and depression and really it's only by the grace of God that I'm even standing here today and I'm so thankful I'm so thankful for all the teachers and all the way showers and all the people that have supported me and guided me and so when I came through that with the help of, a, of an amazing woman Candace was her name, and um, she started working with me through prayer and meditation, and she started doing this energy work with me, and I started to get better, and I knew that that's what I wanted to do, so the anxiety was a gift. It was a gift because it allowed me to become more of who I am, you know? Um, so intuition is a muscle. And like any other muscle, you got to use it so that it gets stronger and stronger. And it will. It will. And I believe that many of you are much more intuitive than you even think or believe. So in, um, in Proverbs 3, verse 5, 6, it says, trust in the Lord with all your heart, lean not on your own understanding, in all ways acknowledge him and he will direct your path. So the master, the Christ is saying to us, I am inviting you to trust me. I am inviting you to accept the love that I have for you. And it's an invitation. You know, do you remember how many people remember many years ago there was this WWJD, What Would Jesus Do movement? You know, I love that. I love that. I wish I had a t shirt that said that. And so, what would Jesus do? What did Jesus do? Jesus went up to the mountain. Jesus went out into the fields for days and days and days. Moses went up to the mountain. I bet Mohammed went up to the mountain. Now, I'm not suggesting that you have to go up to the mountain, although maybe you do. Maybe some of you are being called to go to the mountain. Maybe some of you are being called to take a pilgrimage. Maybe some of you are being called to go on a retreat somewhere. What would Jesus do, though? Jesus would get quiet and listen. 
He would take the time away from his disciples. He would take the time away from his friends. He would take the time away. And, you know, it's funny that we have so much trouble doing that. <laughs> Isn't it? People say to me, Carol Ann, I just, I just, I'm just not comfortable being by myself. I'm just not comfortable. I don't know how to meditate. I can't even tell you how many people say to me, well, how do you do it? How do you start meditating? You know what you do? You breathe. Just like Lily said in the song, you start by breathing. You know, as Thich Nhat Hanh says, I love his meditations, he says, breathing in and breathing out. I breathe in and I am aware that I am breathing in. I breathe out and I am aware that I am breathing out. And that's how you begin to meditate. You start with your breath and then you sit for one minute or two minutes, or three minutes, and that, that's how you do it. That's exactly how you do it. And then you start doing it for a little bit longer. And the next thing you know, you're meditating. That's how easy it is, really. So intuition is peaceful. It doesn't, it doesn't shout at you. It doesn't, it doesn't yell at you. It's peaceful. It's loving. And, and if what you're hearing is not that, then that's not your intuition. Okay? Intuition is, is loving. It's that, it's that soft whisper. It's that gentle kindness. And, you know, by us listening we actually become better listeners. And when we become better listeners, we become more compassionate to the people around us. And we become more compassionate with ourselves. You know, Tasha Silver, and I know she's the one I'm quoting today, um, in her book, Outrageous Openness, she says this, and I quote, often the next right action can be felt as a palpable inner pull knowing in almost any situation. You may not know what the route is to take, but in the moment, if you listen, you will know step by step what to do, and you will. And it takes courage. It takes, it takes dedication. It takes, as my grandmother would say, chutzpah to be on this spiritual path. Because this is not an easy path. It's a glorious path. It's filled with miracles and joy and wonderful fellowship and, and wonderful things. And it's hard sometimes, isn't it? Sometimes, you know? So it's really up to us to say yes. To say yes to the divine to say yes to God, to say yes to that, that inner voice, you know. So here are some characteristics of highly intuitive people. They have a higher sense of empathy. They operate in faith, self-awareness, a desire to live from their, from their truth, from their heart space, the ability to listen. They're very observing and focused, and they choose to live in the present. And the present, my friends, is where it's at. And that's when your intuition is speaking to you. It's not the past. It's not the future. It's right here and right now. So I asked a couple of people, my highly intuitive friends, how do you know when it's your intuition? And this is what they said. The slides are not coming up, so I'm just going to say them. So my friend KD, she said, it's an inner nudging to go in a certain direction. As I hear the voice of my intuition, the universe will bring me signs or someone will say something that will affirm the intuitive nudge. Uh, my friend um, LJL says, intuition is always positive and loving. When the peace is there, your intuition is there. Intuition never says you should, it says you could. Intuition never says you have to, it says you can. And 
Steven Spielberg says, who I didn't meet with and I don't know um, personally, <laughs> maybe in a different life, um, he says, you want to be clear that your intuition is different than your conscience. Your conscience shouts, here's what you should do, and your intuition whispers, here's what you could do. So here's my most recent story about following my intuition. I was having a really tough day, um, and it was probably around 4 o'clock, and I was going to go and do something, and then my inner voice said, go and walk at the park. And there's a park at Town Center that I love, and I've made friends with all the trees and the water and everything, and so I went there. And I'm walking around the park, and I'm feeling you know, more like myself. I'm connecting with nature, which is a great way to access your intuition, by the way. And then I hear this voice go into the blue mercury. And I had seen that store before, but I had never really been in there. It's, it sells like makeup and skincare. And so I walk in, and as I walk in, as I um, go to the door, I open the door, and, and this man walks in, and we almost bump into each other. And I had like a moment of recognition, eye to eye. And he said, hi. And I said, hi. And I went in, and I'm like, what am I doing in here, spirit? And so I talked to one of the girls for a moment, and then he comes back in. And he's like, hey. And I said, hey. And, and he's like, girl, you need to let me do your eyebrows. And I'm like, oh my gosh, OK. <laughs> so the next thing I know, he's got me in this seat. And he's cleansing and toning and doing all this stuff. And he's just got this really like warm glow about him. And he says, you know, you're lucky. He says, I'm just here from DC for the day. And I said, I am lucky. I said, I, you know, and I, I didn't go into why I was, why I, why I got there. And so he finishes up and I just said to him, I said, Matrice, I said, I can't thank you enough for this. I said, you really lifted me up today. I said, I had been praying most of the day. I said, a friend of mine had to have a very unusual surgery all of a sudden. I said, my heart's been really heavy. And he looks at me, and he's like, give me a hug. And the next thing I know, I'm hugging this person. And he said, you know, I had a similar thing happen today. He said, a friend of mine that I haven't seen in 20 years, I found out they're homeless. He went into this whole story, and he looked at me. And at this point, I'm like praising God under my breath, really. And he looked at me, and he said, this is what happens when you listen. And I said, yes! <laughs> and I can't even tell you how many times I have listened and how many times miracles just like that have happened. So I encourage you to listen to your intuition. I encourage you to lean in. I encourage you to be courageous. And let, let the divine lead you. Let's turn to our meditation. Get comfortable. Get comfortable in your space. Take a nice, comfortable breath in. Breathe in. And breathe out. As you breathe in, breathe into any spaces or places of tension or stress. Feel the support of the seat beneath you. Feel the support of the earth beneath you, the universe around you. You are fully loved and supported right here and right now. And begin to breathe slowly and gently into your heart center. Breathing in through the heart and out through the heart. Making that sweet connection to your inner space.
This is the space where love lives. This is the space where you are home. Who are you? You are daughters and sons, children of the Holy Creator. You are loved beyond measure. You are magnificent. You are a pure expression of the divine that we know as God, Spirit, Creator, the universe. In this place, in this knowing, go within for a moment. If there's something that you may have on your heart or want an answer to, take a moment and listen. Breathe. Breathe into that beautiful heart. And when you feel ready, take a nice deep breath in, exhale fully, and come into this glorious present moment. Allow your eyes to open. You are here, you are loved, you are blessed. Thank you. Your unfolding peace